I'm going to uh, review some of the toolkits that Haney developed uh, and specifically focusing on what's available um, for education of uh, staff, family, and provider um, on the subject of antibiotic stewardship. So what's important to know that in the nursing home is the prescribing of antibiotic is very different than prescribing antibiotic in you know the outpatient setting or in the in the hospital and there is um, a lot of um, you know involvement of pharmacy uh, of uh, I'm, I'm sorry involvement of families in the decision to treat or not to treat it's it's very obvious that families really pushed for antibiotic, for any potential change in condition, um, and there is a misunderstanding of, you know, the value of antibiotic and why they are good but also harmful. So if you're going to do any uh, education of family, it's important to show the family, um, you know, what is the benefit of antibiotic, but also explain to them when are antibiotic not needed. And we have linked to several toolkits, uh, specifically for families, um, to explain to them for uh, when is an antibiotic needed. It's needed when it's a bacterial infection. It's not needed when it's a viral infection. It doesn't work. It's not needed when someone has colonization of, for example, you know, the urine was a, was a bacteria, but they're really not sick from it. And I have done some education of families and, you know, when you explain to them why we have to change the way we think of antibiotic, they're really very receptive to and understand why, you know, we're, we're going to observe their loved one, why we're not going to jump and give antibiotic. I explained to them that, you know, it, it, they might be harmful. They might cause an infection, di infectious diarrhea, such as CDFC, where people have diarrhea for weeks and they're very sick from it. Or it can select for resistant organism, where if someone gets really sick, we don't have any antibiotic to use. And they're really, like, if you really sit down and explain to them what you're doing and what's the alternative, for example, we're going to wa watch your loved one um, we're going to monitor their vital sign. If there isn't a change, we're going to change and start antibiotic. And so there are some information on the website um, regarding, uh, you know, all this, uh, these, this information that can be used to educate them or to uh, implement what's called watchful waiting in case you decide, you know, to watch a resident where there was a change of condition, but you didn't think it was a bacterial infection that needs treatment. It's also important to educate everyone on your policies for treatment, specifically if you have developed policy for testing and treatment of common infections. And we have those, we have what we developed in Rochester uh, for the treatment of um, urinary tract infection, pneumonia, and skin of soft tissue infection. Uh, and those um, guidelines were developed with the help of 13 medical directors in the Rochester area. Uh, along with uh, pharmacy staff and infectious disease staff. Uh, it's also important to use posters uh, on the units um, because there is a lot of turnover, there is a lot of agency nurses, and so the poster might be kind of maybe a, open a conversation of, you know, this is what we do in our nursing home. We don't treat or we don't test uh, resident of urine unless they have urinary tract symptoms or they have any you know, systemic symptoms that um, make us worry that they ma might have an infection such as fever or, you know, tachy tachy tachypnea and so forth. Uh, we have also developed pocket cards, um, which um, we have given to provider that describe, for example, for ur urine tract infection, we have included their antibiogram, um, what are, uh, for example, for E. coli, what's the, sens what's the most commonly sensitive uh, antibiotic. Uh, we have also included antibiotic, uh, their duration, um, and we have also developed a, um, a cheat sheet, if you want, about what's the dose of antibiotic and what for, um, and how you need to adjust for uh, renal insufficiency. Um, so education 
is very important. It cannot be a standalone, but it's essential. It has to be done across the board. It has to be starting from nursing staff, family, anyone who has contact with a resident, um, so everyone is on the same page.